first, we're heading to Northampton, where budding builder Lewis King has come to A&E, not like most brickies, with a pencil tucked neatly behind the ear. Bizarrely, he stuffed his little scribbler inside his shell-like. My grandson has put a pencil down his ear and it has broken in the ear, but it was a week before he told us he did that. Staff need to get to the point fast, as the pencil lurking in Lewis's lug hole is potentially more serious than you'd think. The worst case scenario is that he gets a deep-rooted infection and then that can um, affect his hearing, balance coordination, and if left long enough, can even uh, go deaf with it. How big was the pencil? Eight. That big? No. That big? Smaller? So just a tiny bit then? OK. Dr Phillips confident that retrieving the piece of pencil will be a piece of cake. So nice and still for me. But drawing it out proves more difficult than he'd hoped. Well, you've done a good job of it, I'll tell you that. After a fair bit of prodding and poking, the pencil. Or is it? Is that all of it or just part of it? That's all of it, I think. Yeah, that's all of it. Let's have another look in your ear. That looks more like a watch battery to me. That battery. Are you sure it was a pencil? I don't think it actually was, it? Where he would have got that from and how it's got in there, I do not know. Dr Philip has a quick look to see there's nothing else in the ear. A compass, protractor, the odd AA battery. You're doing really well, Lewis. Lewis's ear hole might be unblocked, but it's not all good news for our battery-operated boy. Right. I can't see your eardrum, which means it's gone. <laughs> which means you made a hole in it, OK? Um, now, that can happen with things like this, so it's important... Um, we, don't, we don't do anything, we don't repair it or anything. Um, it will repair itself. Luckily for Lewis, the eardrum is much like skin and should grow back naturally over the next six weeks. I'll get rid of that for you. You can give it a wash when you get home. He might have lost an eardrum, but Lewis has gained a nice souvenir of his time in A&E and learnt a valuable lesson. It's been a bit of an eye-opener for Dr Philip, too. The fact that he said it was a pencil and it turned out to be a watch battery, I'll tell you, that's pretty bizarre. Gran takes little Lewis back to Mum. Let's hope she doesn't give him an earful when he gets home. Danger, danger.